So, i-multiply natin both members of the equation by 5. Okay? So, 5. Okay? Systems of linear equations with fractions. So, let's have example. Solve x over 5 plus y over 4 equals 12. This is equation number 1. And x over 3 uh, minus y over 4 equals 4. So, this is equation number 2. So, first we have to uh, multiply the first equation by the LCD. Yung LCD natin is 20. Okay? Kasi dapat yung LCD ma-divide sa 5 at saka ma-divide sa 4. So, yung LCD natin is 20. Multiply natin yan kay x over 5 at saka kay uh, positive y over 4. Multiply din natin by 20. Okay lang yung magkabaligtad ha. Equals 12. Multiply din natin sa LCD na 20. Okay? So, simplify natin. 20 divided by 5 is 4 times x. That is 4x. Plus 20 divided by 4 is 5 times y is 5y. Equals 12. Multiply natin kay 20. That is equal to uh, 240. Multiply yan ha. So, 240. So, this is our equation number... Okay, next, si equation number 2 naman, yung LCD dito is 12. Kasi ma-divide si 12, dapat ma-divide kay 3 at saka ma-divide kay 4. So, yung LCD natin dito is 12. Multiply natin kay x over 3. Then, minus uh, 12 naman. Multiply natin kay y over 4. Equals 12, uh, 4. Multiply din natin kay 12. Okay? Then, uh, simplify natin. 12 times, uh, 12x, pwede rin natin. So, 12 divided by 3 is 4 times x. Pwede rin ganun, ha? 12, 12 times x is 12, di ba? Divide by 3 is 4x. Okay? Then, minus 12 times y is 12y. Divide by 4 is 3y. Equals, multiply natin yan. 12 times y, uh, 4 times 12, that is equal to uh, 48. So, this is our equation number 4. Ngayon, isubtract natin si equation number 1, ay, equation number 3, and equation number 4. Sa next page natin. Okay, subtract na natin yan. Si 4x plus 5y equals 240. Equation number 3 natin. Minus 4x... Uh, minus 3y equals 48 This is equation number 4 So, subtract natin yan so, Take note, kapag mag-subtract tayo We have to change the sign of the subtrahend So, from uh, positive Magiging negative na yan Okay, ito rin magiging positive Okay, so this is Positive Ah, this is negative pala, sorry So, 4x Plus, uh, minus Okay, from positive magiging negative, so 4x minus 4x is 0. Pwede natin cancel Okay? Then, dito naman, 5y, so hindi na siya negative, plus na siya, di ba? So, magiging plus 3y or positive 3y, so 8y equals 240. So, from positive magiging negative, magiging minus 48 na yan. So, 240 minus 48, okay, that is equal to... 192 192 Okay, then We have to divide both sides By the coefficient of y So, 8 Yung kanyang coefficient So, divide natin siya by 8 So, yung value ng y Is equal to 192 Divide by By 8 Ay, 192 divide by 8 So, 1 Ay, 2 pala, 16 so, 3, 2. So, hanap tayo ng number na kapag i-multiply natin sa 8 ay 32 or less than 32. So, yung value natin yung is 4. Okay, 4. 24. 4 times 8 is 32. So, therefore, yung value ng y is 24. Ngayon, i-substitute naman natin si y na 24 doon sa ating equation number 1 para mahanap natin 
yung value ng x. Okay? So, this is equation number 1. So, ang kailangan natin dito is substitute natin yung value ng y. Okay? Na 24. Para makuha natin o masolve natin si x. Yung value ng x. So, x over 5 plus y. Palitan natin yan ng 24. Okay? Then, over 4 equals 12. So, x over 5 plus 24 divided by 4 is 6 equals 12. Okay? Ngayon, uh, anong gagawin natin dito sa 5? So, i-multiply natin both members of the equation by 5. Okay? So, 5 times x over 5 plus 5 times 6 or 6 times 5 equals 12 times 5. So, cancel natin yung 5 kasi 5 divided by 5 is 1. So, ang naiwan dito, x na lang plus 30 5 times 6 is 30 equals 12 times 5 is 60 okay then uh, i-transpose natin si 30 sa right side so x equals 60 itong positive 30 punta natin dito sa left or sa right side magiging negative 30 so value ng x is 60 minus 30 is 30 Therefore, yung solution natin, x is 30, y is 24. Okay, so i-check natin yung solution natin kung tama ba yung ginagawa natin. Okay, let's check. So ito yung solution natin, x is 30, y is 24. So ito yung equation 1, ito yung equation 2. Unahin muna natin sa equation 1 pag-check. So yung value ng x is 30 over 5. Plus, ano ba yan? Plus uh, y, value ng y is 24. Over 4, equals 12. So, 30 divided by 5 is 6. Plus, 24 divided by 4 is 6, equals 12. So, 6 plus 6 is 12, equals 12. So, yung first, or yung equation 1 is correct. Dito naman tayo sa equation 2. X natin is 30 over 3 minus y natin is 24 over 4 is equal to 4 so 30 divided by 3 is 10 minus 24 divided by 4 is 6 equals 4 so 10 minus 6 is 4 that is equal to 4 so therefore our solution is correct okay we have to solve the systems of linear equations with parentheses so, let's have example. Solve 2 times the quantity of x plus 1, the quantity plus the quantity of y minus 3 equals 4. So, this is equation number 1. Equation 2, 5 times the quantity of x plus 1 minus y equals 0. So, this is equation number 2. So, first we have to simplify the equation number 1. So, paano sa simplify? So, i-multiply muna natin yan si 2 times x. So, magiging 2x. Then, 2 times positive 1 is positive 2. Then, kopyahin muna natin yan. Plus y minus 3 equals 4. Okay? Then, uh, tuloy natin. So, si 2x, i, ano natin to si 2 plus, uh, minus 3, magiging negative 1. Then, plus y equals 4. Then, i-transpose natin si negative 1 to the right. So, 2x plus y equals 4 plus 1. Nagiging positive na siya. So, from negative, magiging positive. Okay? Kita pa? So, 2x plus y equals 5. So, this is our equation number 3. Okay, ngayon, kung tata, uh, si equation 2 naman, simplify naman natin to. So, 5 times x is 5x. Then, 5 times positive 1, that is positive 5. Then, kopyahin natin si w minus y equals 0. Okay? So, i-transpose natin si 5 to the right. So, 5x minus y equals 0. So, magiging negative 5. So, 5x minus y equals negative 5. 
Okay, so this is our equation number 4. Ngayon, i-add natin yung equation 3 at saka equation number 4. Okay? So, yung equation 3 is 2x plus y equals 5. Then, yung equation number 4, this is 3, ha? Equation number 4 is 5x minus y equals negative 5. So, this is equation number 4. So, i-add natin yan. So, that is 2x plus 5x is 7x. Then, i-cancel natin yan. Diba? Then, equals 5 minus 5 is 0. So, 7x equals 0. Pwede natin i-divide both sides by 7. Kita pa? Hindi naman kita. So, 7, dito sa taas, 7x equals 0. Divide natin by 7. So, x is equal to 0. So, yun yung value ng ating x. So, i-substitute naman natin si... 0 sa ating equation 3. Okay, tuloy natin sa next page. Okay, so, i-substitute na natin si x na equal 0 sa ating equation 3 para ma-solve natin yung y. So, 2 times yung x natin is 0 plus y equals 5. So, 2 times 0 is 0 plus y equals 5. So, y is equal to 5. So, yung, yung solution natin is x is 0 y is 5. Ngayon, i-check natin sa ating equation 1 and equation 2 kung tama yung ginagawa natin. So, equation 1 natin is 2 times x plus 1 plus y minus 3 equals 4. So, 2 times x natin is 0 plus 1 plus y natin is 5 minus 3 equals 4. So, 2 plus 1 Kasi 0 plus 1 is 1. So, plus uh, 5 minus 3 is 2 equals 4. So, 2 times 1 is 2 plus 2 equals 4. So, 4 equals 4. So, check yung ating equation number 1. Yung equation number 2, dito na lang ha. 5 times x plus 1 minus y equals 0. So, 5 times yung x natin na 0 plus 1 minus yung y natin is 5 equals 0. So, 5 times 1, kasi 0 plus 1 is 1, minus 5 equals 0. So, 5 times 1 is 5. Kita pa? Minus 5 equals 0. So, 5 minus 5 is 0. Then, equals to 0. So, equation 2 natin is also correct. Therefore, yung solution natin na x is 0 Y is 5 is also check. Okay.